Greetings, everybody. My name is Yasha Mose, and I'm a member of the Space Apps Global Organizing Team. And today I have a privilege as a part of our virtual bootcamp to be talking with uh, Dr. Jura Kavada, Manager of Earth Science Division's Sustainable Development Goals Activities. She's also an Executive Secretary for the International Earth Observations Initiative, or SDGs. She's an accomplished scientist with uh, many degrees, among them a PhD in atmospheric and oceanic science. And we'll make sure to include her full bio in the description uh, to this video on YouTube, among the other resources. Um, but we'd love to uh, learn uh, from Dr. Cavada. For those many participants who don't yet know what are UN Sustainable Development Goals, if you could share what those are and how does Earth Observation Initiative relate to them? Thank you, Yasha. It's great to be here. So five years ago, world leaders from around the world gathered together to adopt the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, a global agenda for all countries and stakeholders to use as a blueprint to achieve progress on economic, social, and environmental sustainability. And so there are 17 sustainable development goals and associated targets and indicators that are used to inform the ways in which countries and the international community measure, monitor, and drive progress on achieving sustainable development. And so the Earth Observations for Sustainable Development Goals Initiative is a growing international initiative launched by the Group on Earth Observations, an international organization, to advance global knowledge about effective ways that Earth observations and geospatial information supports the SDGs. And so eo 4 sdg or Earth Observations for Sustainable Development Goals Initiative, works at the local, national, regional, and global level with governments, including national statistical offices, line ministries, and other relevant stakeholders, with regional networks and international agencies, to demonstrate how Earth observations and geospatial information, along with socioeconomic data and other types of information, can support the SDGs, and to help increase skills and capabilities in users of the data to achieve sustainable development. And so EU4SDG is um, um, supporting a variety of activities and we currently have an effort ongoing with UN Habitat and several other partners to develop a toolkit on uh, how Earth observation data can help uh, um, reach sustainable cities and communities uh, by providing practical guidance uh, around how Earth observation data is being used for those purposes. Oh, so very cool. Um, I'm also, um, as our participants know, that uh, the key theme for COVID-19 challenge this year is an impact of uh, COVID on economic, social, and environmental sustainability. So maybe you could share with us how um, Earth Observations Initiative help countries across the globe monitor, visualize, and assess the effects of COVID-19 on achieving the SDGs. Yes, thanks, Yasha. So COVID-19 is, is definitely a devastating pandemic that has upended all of our lives and livelihoods across the globe. It also represents a major disruption in the efforts of countries to achieve the SDGs worldwide. Uh, in fact, the World Bank estimates that the current pandemic will push 49 million people into extreme poverty in 2020. In addition, the pandemic and its effects are in turn exacerbated by the uneven progress in several of the areas covered by the Sustainable Development Goals, such as achieving clean water and sanitation, uh, having economic growth in different parts across the globe, but also making substantial progress in eradicating extreme poverty and addressing food insecurity. And so as the world responds to this pandemic and, and seeks to restore global prosperity, it is important to focus on addressing these underlying issues using science, technology, and innovation 
And the SDGs provide an organizing framework to help target action at many different levels. And so Earth observations derived from satellite as well as other types of platforms such as airborne, in situ, and citizen science observatories can provide powerful tools that when combined with other kinds of information, such as data from mobile and internet providers or other types of data on natural and human systems, can create products that support decision makers and other stakeholders uh, to understand and, and better map human activities and also track where we are and how we are responding to different social distancing initiatives during this pandemic. Uh, they can also help detect changes in air pollution, in water quality, and also help assess potential factors that influence the pandemic's occurrence and spread. And so combining Earth observation data with socioeconomic data can also give an indication to what is the global economic impact of this pandemic. And it can also help us inform and assess the degree of resilience that is necessary for future sustainability of our natural systems and societies. Well, it looks like those Earth observations could be helpful in so many different ways. I'm curious if maybe you could uh, just uh, maybe share two specific examples of how those observations and the data can help monitor impact specifically of COVID-19 on SDGs. Yes, so a couple of examples that come to mind. So NASA has developed the Black Marble, which is a product suite that utilizes nightlight data for scientific observations. And so in particular, satellite nighttime light data can help assess different impacts of the crisis from local to global scale and um, understand what is the effectiveness of containment actions taken to control the spread of the virus. These products can also help us understand uh, how and what is the level of access to electricity, but also other types of uh, basic services supporting the SDGs more broadly. In addition, another effort that uh, um, uh, has taken place recently has been uh, um, through the NASA's Socioeconomic uh, Data and Application Center that has developed a global map viewer that uh, demonstrates, presents statistics and virus cases in combination with population estimates by age group and sex, information that is critical for better understanding the potential spread of the virus especially in relation to the, those numbers of uh, people that are more vulnerable um, to the virus. And so this can be useful information for public health officials and for local policy makers that are looking to understand better how and where are the people that are mostly affected by the virus. And so with our global hackathon, we're looking for more innovative solutions that can help uh, um, apply Earth observation data in combination with socioeconomic and other types of data to understand and better assess the impact of COVID-19 on um, SDG targets and indicators. Thank you. And since you're involved in all this international cooperation efforts, I think you have a unique perspective and maybe you could share with us, you know, how um, can we as a community improve the way in which space and technology are harnessed to tackle global, you know, challenges uh, such as COVID and um, making the world more resilient in the long term? Yes, thank you, Yasha. So I think it's important to, um, to continue the efforts to establish more effective communication and collaboration across disciplines and among scientists experts, innovators, and policy makers. And so in addition, what uh, um, we, we, we currently see and what we, um, what in my opinion would be more helpful to see uh, more of is this real-time sharing of experiences and insights 
um, on how um, Earth observation data are being used to support and inform efforts to uh, tackle and, and uh, eventually recover from this pandemic, but also in the longer term to build more sustainable and resilient um, societies. And so the strengthening of this science policy and society interface is, is really key and fundamental to achieve this. Well, thank you so very much for sharing your perspective and uh, um, on the key uh, theme of the COVID-19 challenge, which is uh, sustainable development uh, goals. And uh, we we'll look forward to seeing what our uh, community does with this, uh, with this challenge. So thank you again for your time. And uh, we look forward to uh, learning from you and all the hackathon participants in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Asha. Thank you.